The Your Name project was uh, a project that stemmed at the end of a long day of writing here in Nashville, Tennessee. You know, we four writers are constantly involved in different projects and writing for different artists and different people, writing different songs about all different types of topics. And we started coming together, at, specifically at the end of one work day, we got together and started talking about, uh, you know, what if we, we put together this project uh, that had a cohesive idea around the names of God. And we started doing a little research. The first thing you do is start Googling the names of God, and next thing you know, you're looking at a list of like 50 different names. And each one of his names have, have different has a different meaning. And it's amazing what you can learn about the character of God based upon his name. And we were off to the races making a project, which ended up being called Your Name. I think the names of God represent the character, the nature of God. And throughout Scripture, every time someone sees an aspect of God's character, they discover a name for Him. When Abraham sees God provide for him, that's when he names God or discovers the name of God as Jehovah Jireh, the God who sees, the God who sees me through. I think for a listener to discover that, or to meditate on, to think about the names of God is to say a listener is going to discover an aspect of God's nature, which is powerful. For me, uh, I was a worship pastor for a long time, and there are so many things that God can be for people, and the one thing He can't be is what we don't let Him be. And I think when you understand He can be Savior, some days He needs to be Savior, some days He needs to be Lord, Shepherd, Friend, Healer, and there's all sorts of aspects, as, as Glenn was saying, that, that fall into different people's lives on any given day. And His character is inexhaustible. We will never fully know everything about him that there is to know, but through his names he continues to reveal a little aspect of himself that we can kind of get our minds around and, and respond to him and worship him for. Uh, there's nothing more rewarding uh, than to be in a service and, and hear something that you kind of been a part of that God's allowed you to, to kind of have a hand in and see it moving people into the relationship with the Lord and worship and drawing people closer. And I really look forward to uh, just seeing how these songs impact the worship community. I think we knew too, since they started with acoustic guitar, they work that way. And in a lot of churches, that's the way they will be heard. But um, trusting production to really dress them up in, in some interesting different ways. I, mean, I think we're just all thrilled with the way they came off.